Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, today we will be talking about tuberculosis, pulmonary tuberculosis. We have made a lot of videos, so if you want to find something about health and healthcare, just type your topic and Dr. Param, Dr. Education on YouTube and you will find a video. So let's talk about tuberculosis, how it happens and everything you need to know about it. The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. See pulmonary tuberculosis TB is a contagious bacterial infection that involves your lungs and it can also spread to other organs. You have to remember. This is caused by a bacteria which is which is called mycobacterium tuberculosis m tuberculosis and it is very contagious this means that the bacteria can easily spread from one infected person to another right someone else and you can get tuberculosis by just breathing in the air droplets from the cuff of a or a sneeze of an infected person this results in an infection which is which will lead to tuberculosis which is called this is this will lead to primary tb primary that means there was the first time the bacteria entered your body most people actually recover from primary tb infection without any further evidence of the disease that means the infection can be killed off by your own immunity many times this is the thing which happens but the infection may stay inactive dormant for years and in some people it can become active again over time reactivation right so most people who develop a symptom of this tb first became infected in the past and in some cases the disease actually becomes active within the week after the primary infection so uh, there are some categories of people who are at higher risk of active tuberculosis or reactive tuberculosis you have to understand active tuberculosis means which have symptoms of tb just entering of the bacteria in your body does not mean you will get tb every single person in a developing country will have will have had an exposure with the tuberculosis bacteria at least once in their life right not everybody has tuberculosis so there are some risk people who will have active tuberculosis or an reactivation of dormant tuberculosis very easily these are older adults old people small infants infants basically people with weakened immune system like people who have hiv aids who are diabetic who have who are on chemotherapy for cancers or any medicine which which weakens the immune system right your risk of catching tuberculosis increases if you are around a person who has to be if you are if you live in a crowded unclean living condition or if you have poor nutrition because you won't be able to fight off the bacteria right uh, obviously if you have increased if there are increased number of hiv infections in the population if there are so many homeless people there are poor environment there is poor nutrition all around you if there is uh, presence of drug abuse then these factor actually lead to dissemination of this disease easily and many people will come up with this kind of a problem and there will be drug resistance so treating them will be a challenge but finally what happens when you actually have this bacteria inside your body the primary stage of tuberculosis symptoms they do not actually happen so in the primary stage symptoms won't happen right but the symptoms may happen afterwards in pulmonary tuberculosis what will happen if they if the person will have breathing difficulty will they will have cough they can have chest pain cough with mucus they can cough up blood they might have excessive sweating particularly in night that is what we call evening rise of temperature in the body right evening fever then fatigue fever a weight loss wheezing can happen these all things can happen right so if a person comes up with all these symptoms with cough persistent cough you have to test for tuberculosis so what are the tests 
uh, after a physical examination in which the doctor will check for clubbing clubbing in fingers is uh, or toes is a sign of uh, advanced disease where uh, not you no know, improper supply of blood oxygen comes to the digits and the digits the nails actually swell like that it becomes clubbed clubbed fingers right clubbed nails then the you, the swollen or tender lymph nodes can be found in the neck or the inguinal regions in many areas right fluid can be seen around the lung in x rays also and sometimes sounds crackling sounds can be heard in the lungs but the actual tests which actually prove that you have tuberculosis it they include either a chest x ray a ct scan sometimes bronchoscopy is done in which we use a scope to actually view your airways from inside what is put a small tube or with a with a camera inside your uh, airways right then there are sputum tests sputum examination at least three sputum examination has to be done on different days right and first sputum of the day has to be taken and culture as well as staining of the sputum has to be done then interferon gamma release blood test such as uh, tb gold test can be done for that then sometimes if there is actually fluid in the lungs then fluid can be what that can be aspirated out this is called thoracocentesis and that can be sent for testing then skin test can be done tuberculin skin test or uh, very rarely you might need a biopsy of the affected tissue right whatever is affected not necessarily lung will be affected other tissues can be affected so treatment the goal of the treatment is to cure the infection completely cure so that the tuberculosis bacteria does not actually remain dormant and the possibility of reactivation is zero right that's why uh, it's difficult right so active pulmonary tuberculosis is treated with a combination of many medicine usually there are four medicines four antibiotics and the person takes these medicines until the lab test shows that which medicines works best or the tubercular bacteria is gone from whatever wherever it was found in the lung right you may need to take many different pills at different times of the day for 6 months or longer and it is very important for you to take the pills the way your doctor has instructed when people do not take their medicines tb medicines like they are supposed to the infection can become much more difficult to treat and even tuberculosis bacteria can become resistant to those medicine this means that these medicines will no longer work in any other person because of your silly mistake so if you have this disease you have to make sure to follow the regime properly right so if a person is not taking all the medicines as directed a doctor may need to watch the person take the prescribed medicine in front of his eyes this approach is called directly observed therapy in this case the medicine may be given 2 to 3 times a week right this this is the intensity of that the severity of the disease right so you may need to stay at home or be admitted to a hospital for 2 to 4 weeks to avoid spreading of the disease to others until you are no longer contagious if you if you have contagious tuberculosis right so your doctor is required by the law to report if you have a tubercular illness to the local health authorities right this is also a part so it is very important that you and your doctor should team up together understand the disease and then then only you can receive the best treatment best care possible there are so many propagandas so many support groups present if we can help you understand the disease better see outcome symptoms often improve in 2 to 3 weeks after starting the treatment so it's just about properly taking medicines a chest x ray will not show uh, this improvement until at least a at, uh, at least a month or so right and quite frankly the outlook it is excellent if pulmonary tuberculosis is diagnosed early and effective treatment is started very quickly it is 100% curable so all you need to do 
is get diagnosed early and take proper treatment right if you don't do that then possibly com complication can happen and complications can cause permanent lung damage right if you don't go early for testing it can also spread to other parts of the body and medicines can also have a side effects yes so that's why you need to go back and recheck regularly for any side effects like changes in vision for any uh, you know rash liver disease liver inflammation you might have a changed color of your urine also of even brown colored tears can come that is also a complication a side effect of the medicine therefore a vision test is done before the start of the treatment so that your doctor can monitor the changes in your eyes health also right so if you have any if you think you have been exposed to tb if you develop any symptom of tuberculosis or if you actually show symptom despite of the treatment then you should again go to a pulmonologist a chest physician and remember tuberculosis is curable but you need to take efforts for that is it preventable see even in those who have been exposed to an infected person you know skin testing for tuberculosis is used skin testing for uh, tuberculosis is used in uh, high risk population who so that we know that you have been exposed to tuberculosis such as like in healthcare workers we can see that so if your skin test is positive it was a past infection right people who have been exposed to tuberculosis should have a skin test as soon as possible and then have a follow up test at a later date if the first test is negative right that is also important thing and a positive skin test means that you have come in contact with tubercular bacteria but it does not mean that you have an active tb or you are contagious right so you don't have to worry about it right but if you really want to you know contain the disease prompt treatment is very important whenever you find a active tuberculosis patient right so this is very very important and remember there is a vaccine bcg vaccine people who have had that vaccine at birth uh, may still be uh, you know skin tested for tuberculosis right for this you need to discuss the test result with your doctor whether it is positive or not right remember that so this is all about the information which you need about pulmonary tuberculosis tb i hope this was helpful don't forget to share this and let me know your views give a big lump thumbs up i'm dr paramjit you're watching doctor education stay connected stay healthy